Man, didn't clean the pain away. Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's? I know I shouldn't peek, but whatever. Glad to know she learned the lesson. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Damn. Karen does like to capture the world around her. So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. This country is just way too big. Be right back. Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Technology. She came prepared. Her reverend mother doesn't look too humble. I don't even know. Looks like a roach motel. But nobody will find me there.
Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Damn. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. I'm so drained. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. Hey, sorry it took so long. Fucking store was packed. How are you feeling? Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean, I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? We almost didn't. We just kept moving. And nobody helped you along the way? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why, if you care. So ask me anything. Anything? Anything? So what exactly are you doing okay. in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife. 
or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years. But I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. It felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. Yeah, okay. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be. And that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. Where's the one? I know you are, Karen. It still doesn't change the way I feel. Of course not. I know I can't change the past, Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air. Uh -uh. Me too. Es me too. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just huh? get it all out in the open. See what happens. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. Or, or Danyan. I do miss your father. Danyan. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I miss watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I miss sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved me. Oh, Daniel. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. 
but I wanted to contact you guys so many nah, times. Nah, bro. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Yeah. I wasn't that lucky. Oh, Sean. I know. Do you want to tell me how you felt then? Or now? No, not really. No problem. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel. Someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Asked my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world. With like-minded people. No, you didn't. Fuck-ups and my decisions. You wait. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. I think people should know who they are. Not fake it for anybody. <laughs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Huh. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much. But when we did, I would go out on the You're porch dying. and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. Now we just look up at the sky and watch the stars. Or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend Lila. Sitting on the porch. Just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together. <laughs> shut the hell up and watch the universe do its own thing. We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. Shh. 
Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But what? this is about helping your brother. Yeah. You gotta trust me this one time. Cool. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Yep. Yes. Thanks. So, you feel like telling me the story here? Well, when we have time. Gotcha. Here, try this on. How do I look? Like a pirate! Hey. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. Sure he's gonna show up. He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? Well, he's definitely special. You're Hope so. He's your brother, right? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Hello, Jay. Sean! What happened? What were you thinking, Jake? I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I... I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like, he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and... 
I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent, and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. You did right, Jake. Thank you. You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. What? He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, 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 I couldn't oh, just leave him I there. I don't know what done. I don't know John who can think of it again. What about the others? Hannah, Penny, what happened to them? They, they ran over to Merrill's place when they found out Finn and Cass were gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. How scared he was. The blast. Daniel feels he's got to redeem himself for what he did. I need to get to him, Jacob. He's not guilty of anything. I should have protected him better. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Did you even try to stop her? Sean, stop it. Why did you think I wrote to your mother? Ugh, come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. Uh. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I, I have an idea. I think school must be over by now. But Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. One. I, uh, we have to get my sister too. Sarah Lee. Really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Elizabeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know oh, you understand, man. right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Elizabeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Fine. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him. Let's do this. Let's do this. Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. 
Let's get this over with. Okay. Elizabeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Elizabeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. Hello, young Hackerman. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi. We're just... You know you're not supposed to wander around the church once the service is over, right? Right, I, I, I'm sorry, but we, we were just... Uh, my dad just forgot his uh, jacket in our reverend's home, so he asked me to go get it. <laughs> That is so Robert, and he's too proud to get it back himself. <laughs> you know the man. Okay, well, just hurry soon. <laughs> no, no worries. I'll just grab it and go. We weren't done yet. Sorry, we're, uh, we're in a rush. Sean, what are you doing? Do you want us to get caught? Sorry, I wasn't really thinking. Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Okay. I just, I hope they're not onto us. Let's haul ass. Where are the files? Right there, in her office. Ugh. Of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. <sighs> Gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. <sighs> Whoa. Are you okay, Jake? Okay, I found a key. Does she even believe in any of this? I don't know. Yes, that's the one. Oh, perfect. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. She has pneumonia? And for what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you too. <laughs> you can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you like... Sick? Conversion therapy? Do they... Wanted to cure you from... Being... Um... Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <laughs> they thought I was a freak. A sinner. Is that why you ran away? Yep. 
took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared, confused. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. And, uh, how did that go? Not good. I just prayed all the time and stopped hanging out with boys, girls, everybody. I got depressed, paranoid. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd, I'd found my faith again. Instead, I, I just heard him. You didn't, didn't know this would happen, Jake. His powers tripped me out, too. Don't worry. We'll get him out. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Yeah. Anything would be better than here. Right. I just hope they can still cure her. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? This guy is dangerous, Sean. Trust me. Hey, I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Yeah. See what you can do. I will. Get ready. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Hurry up. Sean, we need to hide. Man, if he finds us here, we're screwed. Hey, I know you're somewhere in here. And if I find you... Mm. What the fuck is going on? Sean, do you think... It's gotta be Karen. Oh, he's gone. Let's get out of here. Oh, man, that was crazy. I really thought he was gonna catch us. The guy's leaving. Looks like my diver... Hardcore, Sean. 
Yeah. I well, guess she is. So we're all good now? I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? All right. You be careful, okay? You too, Sean. Good luck. Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Talk later. Locked, of course. Mission accomplished? Yep. So you know what you're going to do? No. But let's do it. Oh, Lord. Let your power speak through this young vessel. I am your humble sure. servant and will obey your every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you, he's kind of special. Hey. Sean! You came back? And I know. Little cub, come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. What? No, I'm not going anywhere. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave no, our sanctuary bro. right now. Not no. without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh, she came here for you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you, how could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband, to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but... I hope 
we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother. And I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Oh, Holy shit. Reverend! Are you okay? Nicholas! They're, they're heretics! Sent to desecrate our, our church! Okay. What now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sara Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She won't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. She's not a real Christian. Think about Claire and Stephen. They have faith, but they would never endanger a little girl's life like that. But uh, she's always right. Why would she lie? Have faith in me, Daniel. I know what I'm doing. God is broken. speaking to me and to you. Nah. Uh. This, this is a toxic community. She's cutting everyone from the world, keeping things secret. She wants to keep you to herself. At least I can show my power out here, show how strong I am. And no one is afraid. You found your home here, Daniel. Don't let him trick you. What do you think Dad would say if he saw us right now? He wanted us to stick together. I don't know. I want you to stay. But I'm not ready, Sean. See what you have done? Hey, Inano. Back off. No one is gonna keep me away from you. I said stop! <sighs> Don't. I came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need to. Sean! He must learn. Listen. I know. Can't die, guy. Great brother. I was an asshole. I took you for granted. I put you in danger. And I'm sorry. Sure, don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't uh, hate him. Uh, don't let them do that, Daniel. <sighs> if I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie because we would always fight about it. He always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. Stop so it! We have to keep going no. forward. What are you going to kill him? Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Nothing. 
Nothing is gonna stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know that. Leave! Stop! Leave him alone! Daniel, listen to him! I won't stop, no matter what she does. I'll come right back, again, and again. <coughs> I love you, Daniel. I do too. She shut him up, now! Don't move, just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face and live with me. No! Stop! <gasps> Daniel! Sean! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was so confused. I thought she was someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. Oh no. No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. This is your fault. Your Sean. Wait. Daniel. She really did try to use me. She hurt you. She's mad. Don't do it. Don't. Look what she's done to you. Answer me. She manipulates everyone. She deserves it. She's just... you just... It was her or us. We'll open the door, then. Let's go. Oh, my. My, my.
This is it. We made it, Daniel. What do we do now? Make our way across. You ready? No. Yeah. I think. Hmm. So. I will see you guys on the next Daniel Engine.